Hey YouTube, so yay, it is 15 weeks pregnancy vlog, um, I'm 15 weeks and one day today, I'm a day late making my video, um, I just had a heck of homework to do yesterday, so I decided to wait, so um, really for the most part, I think symptoms have been pretty much the same, I still am really tired, I've still been like feeling sick off and on, which really, really sucks, but um, one thing that has changed is those crazy, like, crazy vivid dreams that I was having, those have pretty much stopped, so, um, because they were really crazy, like, I never got into detail with how crazy my dreams were, but they were, they were pretty crazy, so that's gotten better, um, let's see, um, a new symptom kind of for me is that at the end of the day, by the end of the day when I go to bed, like, I'm feeling, like, sore in, like, my lower part of my abdomen and almost, like, in my legs. Like, in my stomach, it just feels like I'm, like, stretching almost. So, I'm sore by the end of the day. Nothing, like, terribly, terribly bad or uncomfortable or anything, but that's something new. Um, I feel like my hair is growing really fast, which is normal in pregnancy. Um, my hair did that when I was pregnant with Milani, too, but after I had her my hair also was like falling out, which really sucked, so, um, let's see, other than that, all my symptoms are pretty much the same, nothing too exciting, I'm just, I just can't believe that I'm 15 weeks, like, I'm almost four months pregnant, and uh, I still am like in disbelief that I'm gonna have another baby, it's weird, so, yeah, it's just going by really, 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 really quick, um, let's see, on Monday, was that Monday, Tuesday, I went and had, um, the second blood test um, done for the, like, Down Syndrome screening thing or whatever, and after I did that, I was able to schedule my ultrasound to find out if I'm having a boy or a girl. So excited! So, um, my appointment is scheduled for May 27th, which is, today is May 28th, or today is April 28th, so just shy of one month away. So the countdown is on, I cannot freaking wait. Like, I'm so excited, I can't way to find out if it's a baby boy or girl. Like, I'm ready to start just going through everything that I have left over from Milani and seeing what I'm keeping, what I'm not keeping. Obviously, if it's a boy, I won't be keeping much. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, I'm, I just can't wait. Like, I'm so excited. But at the same time, I'm not, like, dwelling on it too much because it is still, like, a month away. But with how quickly these weeks have been going by, I'm not really that worried about it. So, um, Speaking of that, I was thinking about when I was pregnant with Milani and when I went to labor with her and like I have video clips from like before I actually had her like when I was at home and like having contractions and everything. Um, I don't know if I ever said this but I drank castor oil <laughs> to try to induce labor with her. Um, yeah, it was really crazy. Um, and I was thinking about like making a little video and just putting that up just because, you know, it's special to me. And pretty soon I'm going to be having another little labor and delivery clips video, so anyways, we'll see about that. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have my blood test. Oh, one thing, okay, I haven't been having any cravings, and I haven't necessarily been having any aversions to any food, but, like, when I want, well, in the middle of the night, I always end up wanting some type of cereal for some reason, like around 12.30, I always want some cereal. Which isn't good, because I should not be eating cereal at 12.30 at night. Oh, and by the way, I've gained about two pounds overall since I got pregnant. Well, I lost a few pounds, and now I'm gaining now. I'm starting to gain. I've gained two pounds, which I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of bummed about. But that's okay. I mean, obviously, I have to gain weight, but damn, I wanted to wait to like 20 weeks before I hit that gaining weight period, you know, I'm already halfway through before I start gaining weight, but it doesn't matter, I know, um, but I have been eating horribly, like, really bad, really, really bad, nothing good, so that would probably explain it, plus the cereal at 12.30 at night, um, and my newest kick has been drinking iced tea, which I shouldn't be drinking because it has caffeine in it, not that it's not okay to have some caffeine, but I just prefer not to drink anything with caffeine just while I'm pregnant. And, like, I just want to get one, like, every day, especially when I have class. Like, I just like sipping on my iced tea in class, you know. <laughs> so that's been, like, one thing I've been, I wouldn't say craving, but just one thing I've been drinking a lot. And, what else is that? Iced tea, I gained two pounds. Oh, 
Now, this is the thing. I don't have any aversions to any food, but when I don't feel like eating something, I cannot eat it. Like, I can't force myself to eat something. Like, if something just doesn't sound good, if I go to someone's house and they cook dinner and it just doesn't sound good, I can't force myself to eat it because it's repulsive. Repulsive. Seriously. Like, I'm just like, ugh. I cannot eat that. Like, my boyfriend bought me a Subway sandwich last night, which I wanted, and I ate half of it. And then by 12.30, I wanted some cereal. He's like, why don't you finish your sandwich? And I'm like, I can't eat a sandwich right now. Like, I want cereal. I can't eat it. Like, even if I like it, I'll probably eat it tomorrow, but I can't eat it right now because I just don't have the stomach to eat the rest of that sandwich. So, of course, he thinks I'm crazy. He just doesn't, he just doesn't understand. Um, okay, so... You guys, I'm definitely growing. Of course I say that all the time. Growing, growing, growing. Um, but I really am. Like, it's noticeable. And as much as I want to start showing, at the same time I feel kind of like, oh, like, should I really be showing this early? Like, I just don't want someone to think that I'm just, like, a big old pregnant lady too soon, you know? I don't know. That's weird. So, um, yeah. My belly's getting big. So I'm going to try to do a belly shot at the end. Of course, I always try to do a belly shot, and it always ends up being whack, but, um, okay, and so the other thing that happened this week, literally, I was about to curse out my landlord. Seriously, those, I mentioned in my last video about the construction that they've been doing in my building and how noisy it's been. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, goes to, like, 4 o'clock during the afternoon, like, and I'm home most of the day, except when I have school, so it is a pain in the, you know. So, I was like, okay, well, it's Friday, at least this weekend, and plus it was Easter, or this weekend we'll be able to get a break, and blah, 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 blah. Well, these fools came at 8 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning, banging, clacking, doing all this stuff, and literally, it sounds like whatever they're doing, they're going to just fall through my ceiling. Like, it's so bad. So, anyways, I was pissed about that, and then Sunday, which is Easter, came, my little sister spent the night, and, um... We were going to go to church, but she had a really bad nightmare. She's, she's 10. She had a bad nightmare and, like, didn't go to sleep till really late. So we just decided to sleep in or whatever. And guess what? I woke up to at 8 o'clock in the morning. Them doing work above my living room. So, so loud. My little sister was out there sleeping on the couch. Like, oh, I was livid. Like, I was so mad, you guys. So I called my landlord. And I basically told him off, and I'm like, look, I know you guys are trying to renovate, you don't care about us, because we're going to be leaving anyways, but we still live here, it's disrespectful, I have family over, and it's disturbing them, and like, I wouldn't want to make this phone call on Easter just as much, you don't want to get a phone call like this on Easter, but it really needs to get fixed, like, I had to leave a message, because obviously he didn't answer. Anyway, so that was a big whole ordeal, so I was like, telling them, I want to get out of my lease, I want to move, and, um, yeah. So, basically, what ended up happening, because I was already looking for apartments, like, I was ready to get out of here. Um, what ended up happening is the owner of the building basically fired those contractors, and they have some other people which have not been nearly as noisy or disrespectful, so that's good. So, I'm not dealing with that anymore, but, like, it was like, this is a holiday, this is Easter Sunday. First of all, going seven days straight of making that much noise and doing work in a building is ridiculous, and then especially on a holiday, like... Woo-wee! I was not a happy camper, and if those people would have still been here, we would have been fighting. Like, me and the landlord, or me and those contractors. I don't know. So, anyways, um, and then finally Easter. Easter was really good. Like I said, we didn't go to church, but we went to my Nana and my Poppy's house for, like, a dinner, brunch, brunch dinner, whatever. I guess that doesn't make sense. It was like an early dinner, late lunch, but kind of like a brunch. That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, um, we went over there for whatever to eat, and that was fine. Um, it was pretty much relaxed. It was just um, us, uh, my little sister, my mom, and then my grandparents and Melania and Ivan. So that was good, and we uh, we ended up just coming home and relaxing, and it was a good day. Like, we didn't have too much to do. Um, Melania had her little Easter dress, which was so adorable. I'm going to try to put pictures in this video. I'm doing this video on my camera this time instead of my, um, like, video camera, so we'll see how it goes and how I like it. Um, but I'm going to try to put a couple pictures of Milani's little Easter dress because it was so, so cute. Um, and then also, you guys, I bought this book, actually, like, a couple weeks ago. It is called Cool Names for Babies, and 
it was like ten dollars i don't know why i wasted my money on a baby name book you know you can always look the names up online but i was at the bookstore and i just felt like getting something because i was getting a gift card for my dad so uh, i've been going through it and it's okay it has different names um i wouldn't necessarily say cool names they're just names that aren't as normal or like average you know um i have found like a couple of names that i kind of like but of course the ones i like my boyfriend doesn't like um I'm pretty sure if we have a girl, if, um, I know what her name is going to be, I just have to convince my boyfriend because he's really picky about names, and we're kind of have different tastes, um, but I'm pretty sure I know what her name will be if it's a girl, and if it's a boy, I have no freaking idea, like, clueless, I have no idea, so that's not good, I need to find a name like that, because once I find out it's a boy for sure, like, I want to know what his name is going to be, so I can just be like, this is my baby boy, like, or whatever. So, um, usually when I make my videos, my list, I write down my list, and it's like in a certain order. This time it was just like on my phone, so it was pretty much not very good, I'm sure. But I think it might have been better than the last video because, as I said, Milani was like going crazy that day. So, right now she is at um, my boyfriend's sister's house with her cousins and stuff, so I'm going to go to school after this. And, yeah. So that's all for this week. I'm just, I just can't believe, <gasps> oh, a little bird. Oh, it scared me. Um, I just can't believe I'm 15 weeks already. Like, I think about this point with Milani when I was pregnant. It seemed like it took so long to get this to this point. And this time, it just came so fast. And I'm excited. And it's like, I want it to slow down. But I'm sure once I find out if it's a boy or a girl, it will be better. Um. I just really want to move out of this place still, but I want to know exactly where we're going to live and how things are going to be set up with the new baby and everything. So, anyways, I'm sorry about this. I gotta get, I gotta get myself together. I gotta get more organized with my videos. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope everybody had a good Easter. Like, I forgot to say that. I meant to say that in the beginning of the video, but happy late Easter. I hope everybody's Easter went good. You took all the little kitties. What is that? Um, Easter egg hunting? Yeah, I didn't do that with Milani this time, but next year for sure we will. So, anyways, I'm going to attempt a belly shot. Now, this time I have on, like, maternity pants. And you can tell so much more when I have on maternity pants or whatever that I'm pregnant or that how, what my stomach is looking like. So, I can still hide it pretty well, but when I wear clothes that kind of fit the belly more, it definitely looks a lot more bigger. Um, so, yeah. And you guys... I freaking love, love, love these pants. I wish I could show you better, but they're really, really cute maternity pants. So, here we go. So, this is my belly. It's big. Like, especially with the pants on. It's pretty big. And, probably can't really see much from the front. This is just a regular shirt. It's not like maternity or anything. So, anyways... Alright you guys, I'm going to try to upload this video, hopefully it goes well, because like I said, I don't normally use my camera. Um, so, to all my new subscribers, of course, thank you so much. Um, if you're watching my video right now and you haven't subscribed, subscribe! And um, if you have any questions or any comments or anything, let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!